and crackin', rockin', 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 rockin'. Real takes it, Julie's breaks. Rockin', 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 rockin'. Shout out to the card crew. Julie's breaks will please you. But this is a land cracking. The land, 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 land. land, 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 land. But this is. This, 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 this
that is super awesome. So, protégés of Kirill. There are variations of these different colors that are lower numbered, but let's start with that one. Um, we've got uh, some old Metal Universe cards that I got from Daryl Giordano. This is uh, Andy Moog. This is 1996 uh, Fleer Skybox Metal Universe. These are super cool. Daryl always likes the uh, the original ones better. I'd say they are pretty awesome. Hard to read the names though. Uh, Tony Granado on the Kings. Trevor Linden on the Canucks. This is Hartford Whalers, Jeff Sanderson. Got my, Michael, is this Michael? Yeah, Michael Nylander on the Flames. Look at this foily madness. Kind of a cube design on those. And this is Todd Harvey on the Stars. They have... This one's actually more of like a diamond. This is more of a cube, the one on the left. So different designs. Actually, this one's different yet again. This one's circles. There's a lot of um, innovation in those cards. So thank you, uh, Daryl Giordano. Super cool. <coughs> All right, next up, we got a bunch of pickups from uh, group breaks I did with uh, Imperial Gardens Facebook group. So some of these uh, are from a while back. I never opened um, SP Authentic, and I didn't open any this year because it's too expensive, and there's just way too much risk of getting some boxes uh, where people got no autos, or somewhere they got like a, retro, a future watch from last year that was somebody you totally didn't want. So I jumped in, I think, two or three breaks where there were random teams. So I jumped in a break, and for some reason over there, I, I seem to get the Stars and the Rangers, like all the time in randoms. I've never once gotten the Wild, <laughs> like all those breaks in a random. But I got the Stars, and I hit super big. So this was a case, or no, this was an inner, not even a full case. This was an inner of SP Authentic where I had the Dallas Stars. So, of course, we hit this massive future watch. Jason Robertson out of 999. So Zeri's hit like four or five of these, but we have one too. It's a beautiful J Rob Future Watch. As of recording this early October, he still didn't have a contract with the stars. I mean, that's just unbelievable in my opinion. But big future watch there. And of course, we're always going to get this guy, Thomas Harley Future Watch. Not a bad auto. Joel Kiviranta, who I like. Future Watch, another pretty cool auto. And we got a limited auto of little Joe Pawalski. Super cool. And some more stuff. We got Dallas in some other break here. Um, this, uh, yeah, this was Series 2. We got... Radic Faxa, exclusive, out of 100. Uh, we got Jacob Peterson, Young Gun. Uh, we got two of those. Let's see, what else did we get? We had Canadians in a break as well. We got Nick Suzuki, Upper Deck Canvas, Program of Excellence. New Captain, Captain. This is 2021-22 Upper Deck Series 2. Also in that same break, we got a clear-cut young gun of Jesse uh, Yolevin, who I guess most people are not high on, but we'll see what happens. So pretty cool to get a clear-cut. And then I had a break where I had the Leafs. Uh, this was Ultimate. Hoping to hit one a big name, but... Uh, Hit a guy who's now a shark, but some he's a good player, and these are some pretty cool cards. Alexander Barabanov, um, jersey card, out of 649. But this here is really a beauty. This is 14 out of 15, ultimate rookie jumbo patch. Somebody's hair on it. 
but that's a pretty super sick looking patch. Unfortunately, not a leaf anymore, but still really cool card. Bear ban off there. And then um, there's a channel on U YouTube, or not, not on YouTube, Instagram called, I think it's called Hockey Card Gong Show, which is another channel, uh, Instagram you should really follow because they uh, follow all the market trends, especially of like um, top players, big cards, young guns. And I've seen some um, things they posted that you know, lead you to, to check out some values. There's some bargains. So they posted some players who uh, young guns and things were down. And one of them was Quinn Hughes. So because I didn't have Quinn Hughes young gun, I checked on eBay and they were they were right. There's some definite bargains. I think I got this for about thirty dollars, and his cards used to go for a huge amount. It likely rebound, but you know the Canucks they didn't have a great year last year, so his stuff is down. PD's stuff is down. Besser is down. But if they they rebound and do well, then those cards probably uh, go back up in value. So those are some pickups. Now, since we're going to do artifacts, I'm going to show you. I didn't pull out all the artifacts cards in my collection. Maybe I'll do that for the next box. But for sake of time, I just wanted to show you um, four car artifacts cards from my collection. So, start out with uh, last year's artifacts. I was lucky and able to get into some breaks. Team Select picking the wild for not huge money. Before people knew... Um, who Krill was, or they didn't know, um, you know, which redemptions would be Krill, because they're all like those, uh, you know, Roman numerals and, and stuff like that. So I was able to uh, to get some Krill redemptions, and this is by far my favorite one. This is Rookie Tribute out of 715-0506 Shield. And I know not everyone's crazy about this design but I definitely am I absolutely love this card and this is my favorite Krill card from the artifacts I have two others that were also redemptions this is the Krill in the retro jersey this is 755 out of 999 so I think this is actually the this is red 195 redemption so I had to wait you know like six months to get these back but I did get them and then this is a more rare one, although I actually like this one better because of the reverse retro. But this is a short print, Kirill, uh Rookie Redemption, 18 out of 99. And this was SP3. And I think at one point, these redemption codes for SP3 were selling for like $1,200. But of course, me being a true wild fan Krill collector, I redeemed mine. I didn't sell mine. So I have the Krill card. They, they've come down in value. They're not selling for that much now. But that was at the time. Let's put some Krills there. And then I, I've shown this one before, but let's look at this again as an example of the kind of things you can pull. So I actually didn't pull this. And some of you may remember the story. I jumped in a mixer break on Clouts and Chara, like last year, I guess. And I got the Kings, and I wasn't like a Kings collector. I didn't know for the pulls yet. And I tried to trade the Kings. Absolutely nobody wanted them. So they start opening up stuff and opening up stuff. And suddenly they pulled this card. And they're all jumping up and down screaming and saying, Wow, good thing you didn't trade the Kings. So this is like a or kind of orangish copper parallel dual fight strap. 4 out of 10 Game Velarde Rookie Card Auto. <laughs> this is pretty sick. So, I know For the Pulls is a big fan of this guy. But this is the kind of stuff that is possible to pull. Probably not, not easy to pull, but could happen. So, we're going to see. Can we pull anything remotely close to that this time? So, this box came from David Adams. There's like a billion different things you can get. I'm kind of a lazy person with uh, odds and stuff like that. And I'll go to Fulton Cards if you want to see all those odds. 
I'm kind of more like trust decoy to pull me something good. So does this have a seal? It seemed like some of them had seals and some of them didn't, which was also strange. It does have a seal. So a seal is opened. So eight packs, four card per pack, 32 cards. And I believe decoy, maybe in every pack or at least most packs, unless you get something crazy thick. I think you might get less cards if you get like a really thick patch. And I know people are saying these are hard to open. So we're just going to snip. So that is first one. Looks like there is a decoy in there. Speaking of decoy, where is he? Okay. Here he is. So base card we'll pull from the back. I love the base card design. This takes me back. I can't remember what year it is. 11, 12 or something like that where they use this kind of script on like the, uh, I think it was Young Guns. But or I guess this is actually just like a um, an accent. It's not like their, their name. But I think the design is super cool. I really, really like it. We got Brendan Gallagher of the Hab. Shout out Brendan and Sticks G. All right, we pull from the front. Miko Ratnin. Shout out DBZ. Other Abs fans. Oliver Bork Bjorkstrand of the Columbus Blue Jackets. And Decoy. And we got a rookie, Jen Jenik. Shout out Desert Hockey Breaks. And this is a 999. And this would have been a redemption, red 227. So we didn't have to wait to get that as a redemption. Uh, we got the card right away. So we have first pack, one rookie. Let's see what we can get in the other packs. We'd love to pull, you know, a patch auto or at least a patch. I'd probably like that nice patch even more than, than getting just like a base auto. I've been kind of disappointed with the wild availability in this year's artifacts. I was in a case break where I guess I actually was fairly lucky to get two Kalen Addisons. And that was out of 20 boxes of artifacts. I saw another case break. Well, luckily I was not in where there's 20 boxes of artifacts, zero um, wild cards that weren't base pulled. So hard pull. Philip Forsberg, base. Nashville, Clayton Keller, Arizona, and it's like there's only three cards in this pack. There is a thick card, must be a jersey. So one of these um kind of roundish base jersey NHL remnants, and it is a paint. Oh, is it Latang? Oh, that's nice. So we got a Chris Latang remnant. Quite a accomplished player for Pittsburgh. Been there forever, pretty much. And it is game used, which is super nice. So they do have the smaller jerseys, but luckily we did not get a white one. And it is game used. I think all of them are game used. So that is a pretty cool hit. Shout out Twinning Collectibles. So, it's like, probably be a number card in here. It's supposed to have four number cards. Probably get more, I don't know. Vor check on the Flyers. There's, oh, there's our number card, the second card. It's usually the third card. So we've got a, a vet number card, and it's a good one. Jack Hughes out of 599. So, I guess... This Jack Hughes is a silver. As you can see, the base one is a little bit um, more brown, I guess. So there's a nice looking uh, Jack Hughes numbered card. So this is weird. Usually the um, decoy is between card three and four. It's between two and three on this one. 
So we take Decoy out. We'll pull the back card. Former Wild Jason Zucker. I'm a huge fan of him, so I like that. And then this is that third card that was in the wrong position. So anybody recognize this guy? Uh, he is a Golden Knight. It's a Shea Theodore base card, but it was in the wrong spot. It's supposed to be like base, base, and then your hit. So I don't know what's going on there, but we got a Shea Theodore. <laughs> Dusty is watching this very carefully, aren't you? Yeah, make sure uh, nothing strange happens. So this one... Definitely looks like there's two cards and then the, maybe three cards and then the uh, filler. So this pack is probably put together correctly. So let's pull from the back base card. Tyler Bertuzzi on the Red Wings. We're going to pull from the front and another Red, ring, red Wing, Thomas Grice. And then this would be the second card, Jordan Bennington. We'll take off the filler. So this would be the hit from the pack. Oh, it's another um, rookie, and it's an emerald, low-numbered, uh, Grigory Denisenko. I've seen people pulling a lot of his stuff. I don't know a ton about him, but Panthers are a really good team, so if he gets a chance there. And this, these emeralds are really beautiful, that uh, green foil. And they're kind of hard pulls because they're out of 99. So, rookie. It does not have any of those, like, um, redemption-type uh, things on the back, though. So, we've got um, four packs to go. So far, we've gotten three number cards and one jersey card. So there should be two more what would be called hit cards. Looks like four skinny cards in this one. And decoy in the wrong place on this pack. <laughs> so two cards behind. Roman Yossi of the Predators. Braden Point of the Lightning. Front card is Elias Lindholm of the Flames. Take off the decoy, and then this should be the hit. So this is numbered out of 299. And oh, it's Drew Doughty. Yep, it's Drew Doughty. And this is out of 299. And it's kind of a foily, a little bit of foily on the bottom, or it's foily on the top, too. So there's a little bit of like foily action. The background is like the same though. So where's that Quinn Hughes? Yeah, so it's different than the Quinn Hughes where the background is the variation. Here it's it's like the uh, the um, foiliness is a very. This is more foily, and then this one is more silver. <laughs> they have uh, so many different ways to to make those variations. So you could have a lot of them to collect on, you know, like your favorite player. So three packs left. Next pack looks like uh, two in front and two behind again. There's a lot of that in this box. Andrei Svechnikov of the Hurricanes. John Klinberg of the Stars. And the front card, John Carlson of the Capitals, decoy, and yet another number card. It's Cam York of the Flyers. This looks like a base rookie, although it doesn't have a redemption on the back. So this is out of $9.99. So if we compare that to the Yannick, it looks the same. They're both out of $9.99. Yeah, one is a re redemption, and the other is not, which I find to be odd. So we've got one, two, three, four, five number cards. You're supposed to get four. We're supposed to have two more hits, so hopefully we actually have them and don't 
have a whole box full of just numbered cards. Oh, oh, look at that. There's like a patch. There's something super thick in there. All right, we will do that last. Excited for whatever that's going to be. And this one, I think... Is that thick enough to be an orum, or is that another patch? I hope that other one's a patch and not an orum. But we'll see what we get. Wow, this pack does not want to open. <laughs> like, the pack is like stuck to the card. Just a heat sealer or something. All right, uh, there is an orum in here, but... It means the other one must be a patch because it's uh, really, really thick. So Nicholas Backstrom of the Capitals. Mika Zibanejad of the Rangers. Yeah, and because there's an Orem in here, we're only going to get three cards. So the Orem is Alex Dabrinkit, who is no longer on the Hawks, but he is in this uh, Orem card. So, Orem. I mean, they look nice and all, but again, I would rather have the auto. I'd rather have the patch. But since it looks like we're probably getting both, can't complain. So, this is it. Hopefully it's a big card. Hopefully it's something super cool. Pull from the back. Patrice Bergeron. Boston. Thomas Shabbat on the Senators. Card from the front. So in the Orem pack, we only got three cards. And yet this is thicker. And because I guess there's no decoy, we get four cards. Okay. Oh, look at that. Moment of truth. There's a stick. See that? 25 out of 25. Artifacts. Oh, it's a goalie. It is. Is it? Is, wow. Boy, like, this is always the For the Poles mojo, right? Look at this. Jacob Markstrom. Absolutely super nasty. One, two, three, four. Four color patch on the left. Three color patch on the right. Flames goaltender out of 25. Wow. So... This is the kind of thing you can get. This was actually a really good box. We got an absolutely incredible patch. We got an Orem. We got, this is numbered, one, two, three, four, five. Six of the eight cards we pulled were numbered. We got a nice game use remnant of uh, Latang. Let's double check this Markstrom. There's no way this is not game used. Yep, game used. Wow, that is sick. And he is um he his stats show he's he's an excellent goalie, like one of the best in the league. So wow. Goalie mojo and King's mojo both. Get that dowdy. It's very nice Jack Hughes. And actually we you know, these aren't maybe like super huge rookie names, but Three rookie cards is good. Yannick, uh, Cam York, and uh, Dennis Senko. So that is uh, Artifacts. Artifact party going on. So I hope you enjoyed this. I had a great time. So please like, sub. Good luck with your rips. Take care, and I'll see you soon.